What is happening guys? I am Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios here to do another Draw with Jim Lee video. I don't want to waste any time. I don't want to make a big intro here. just want to get to it. We're going to do um, We're going to follow him along as he draws. I will speed through my drawing and then I will chime in with commentation for anything I have to say as I'm drawing uh, thoughts and tips and tricks that I can think of as I'm reviewing the video. So, without further ado, Let's just get right to it. Hey, it's me from the future. Here to do a little commentation on the video as we draw. So the first thing I do when I'm when I start these Jim Lee drawings is I will skip to the end of the Jim Lee drawing because I want to see where the drawing is on the on the paper. Um, so I, I so I take the paper and then I do a rough, a really light rough sketch, so I get the placement right. Because a lot of times, if I don't do that, I'll either do the drawing too big, too small, uh, it'll be too far to the left, too far to the right. So I'll just skip to the end and see where it is, and then sketch out the building and kind of like the outline of the body, just real quick. And then I'll just go back to the beginning and then uh, do it for real. And um, it, it'll move around a, a bit, but at least I have a, a, a rough idea of where the character is going to be. So it's just better placement in the end. So yeah, uh, first I do the little sketchy sketch. I try not to take too long on that because Jim Lee doesn't take long on that. He he's so fast. Oh my god! You're gonna see throughout this whole video. I have to pause Jim Lee's video so I can catch up. He's just He's been doing it for so long, it just doesn't, it's nothing to him, so he just does the drawing real quick and I have to stop it and then see what he's doing and catch up. The buildings are a new thing. Uh, he, he wasn't doing that too much with his earlier Twitch streams, but now he seems to be doing buildings more and landscapes, which is good for me because I have no idea how to do them. So it's cool to see how a, a pro will make them in the background. And, and I do my best to try to put it in there, but he's so much better. <clears throat> That's all right. We're growing together. When I'm recording on OBS, for whatever reason, sometimes I'll record and then it doesn't save the video. But luckily I have my phone that's also recording on the side, which I have a mount for. So I'll just keep it on the side and and that's what the that's the footage you see now. That's the phone recording because I lost the uh, webcam recording. And why I recorded the phone, not for that reason, but it's for IGTV and put it on Instagram. It's, it's the right format. Like, uh, what do you call it? There's landscape, and then there's portrait. Yeah, so portrait mode is, is best for IGTV, so that's why I've been recording with my phone. It just turns out that it's been working out for me for the, for the actual YouTube videos as well. Comes in handy. Whiteout is a lifesaver. That's, that's the GOAT. Greatest of all time. That's white out for you, man. It'll clean up your mess ups, it'll add highlights, it's just beautiful. Comes in handy, comes in clutch. The tissue paper adds an awesome effect. You just dab a little bit and then it'll, it'll make kind of like a, a fading charcoal kind of effect. Depending on how you use it, you can put a lot on it and you can just make big blobs of black. Or and as it dries out, that's when you can kind of add like the burn effect and the shadowing effect. It's awesome. Jimmy has so many little tricks up his sleeve. It's, cool and you're gonna see later in this video one of my favorite tricks he does 
um, stylist, stylist, stylistically, and it evolves white out. These speed drawings are interesting for YouTube because they're like, I don't know how fast to make them or how slow to make them because it, it's, honestly it's kind of, it can be kind of boring unless you're like really into the drawing, it can be kind of boring to sit here and watch it unless you're a really good artist, I guess, which I'm trying to, trying to get to that point. But I just started this YouTube thing so I'm just trying to figure it out, see what people think, how they react, and then I'll go from there oh here's the effect I was talking about you take white out it's coming up you're gonna put it on a card piece of cardboard business card cardboard whatever anything kind of firm you you stick the white out on the corner of the cardboard and you flick it on the drawing and it will make splats of white which can make it a snow effect a rain effect uh, like a dirt gravel effect it's awesome it still hasn't happened yet but it's coming up I just wanted to explain it to you because it's gonna happen fast and I, w I wouldn't be able to get it fast out fast enough when it was happening. Yeah, right there I'm, I'm adding hatch marks. Just a little more detail. I'm, I'm not sure if you can really see it in the camera, but it's there. waiting for that whiteout effect. Oh, there it is. Boom. Yeah. Flick it. Flick it. You see it. There it goes. Well, there you have it. That is Batman all done and finished. That video was very long. Two and a half hours, Jim Lee's video. So this took me a while to do. He definitely put a lot of detail and effort into his work. I tried to match him the best to my ability. His looks obviously more cleaned up, more proportionate uh, body-wise, muscle-wise. It's, it came from him, so obviously his, I like his version better. I did my best. I think it came out okay. It took a long time. Glad I'm done with it. I'm ready for the next one. This will be being hung on the wall <coughs> behind me. I think it deserves to go up there. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. And if you have any recommendations for what other drawings I should do, let me know, and I will do them. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. See you, I'm out.